Joshua Oppenheimer's 2012 film, The Act of Killing, explored the aftermath of massacres of communists, activists, ethnic Chinese, and others in Indonesia in 1965 and 1966. There was a right-wing military coup where the government of Sukarno was overthrown. Uh, it was, this was supported by most of the Western world, including the United States. And to affect this, somewhere between half a million and two and a half million people were killed in less than six months. Even today, 16 years after the end of Indonesia's military dictatorship, death squad killers and their protégés remain powerful and respected. The 40 killers that Oppenheimer interviewed expressed pride in the murders. Among them were Hollywood movie buffs who spent months reenacting the butchery for the camera. Now Oppenheimer has followed up the Oscar-nominated act of killing with The Look of Silence, which focuses on survivors, in particular an optician named Adi. His older brother, Romley, was killed by a death squad composed of teachers from the local elementary school. Another brother overheard them planning. At lunch, in, in the recess at school, and heard his teachers saying, tonight we're going to kill Romley. And he had to go home that night and tell his mother what his teachers said. Romley was indeed killed that night. And the next day, what did she have to do? She had to send her other children back to that school to be taught by her son's murderers. Decades later, victims' families were still stigmatized and banned from many professions. Even now, Indonesian schoolchildren are taught that the killings were necessary. It's not talked about as a genocide, it's talked about as the heroic extermination of the Indonesian left, and, and what's taught is that they somehow deserved what happened to them. Survivors remained silent and fearful. But that has begun to change in the last few years, as millions of Indonesians viewed the act of killing in free downloads. For the first time, Oppenheimer says, some of the country's mainstream media and a few public officials are speaking of the killings as a genocide although efforts to set up a Truth and Reconciliation Commission have so far failed. In Washington, Senator Tom Udall has introduced a resolution calling for the U.S. to disclose all documents relating to American support for the Indonesian military coup and genocidal regime. Carolyn Weaver, VOA News, New York.